Welcome to the series of video belonging to the e-learning course and the toolbox of solar power irrigation systems. We are here at the laboratory of Ostfalia University in Zuderburg, northern Germany. My name is Tao and in this video we want to show you some, some of the features of the helical rotor pumps uh, as submersible and as a surface pumps and how they are used for specific application uh, for solar power irrigation. The helical rotor pumps is also called a progressive cavity or eccentric screw pump. Sometimes only Asia pump for helical rotor or monotype pumps. This is a positive displacement pump with high efficiency. Solar pumps are installed if smaller water volume has to be pumped and high pressure heads are needed. The submersible helical rotor pumps are therefore often used in deep wells. The pump consists of a mental rotor which turns in a robot stator. The rotor is shaped like a corkscrew and rotates inside the stator. A cavity is formed between rotor and stator. As the rotor turns, the cavity moves from the suction inlet to the pressure side and accelerates the water lock in the cavity. The diameter of the rotor corresponds to the flow rate and the number of winding to the maximum pressure. Asia pumps leave water starting with the first turn. The pressure head does not vary much by increasing the speed. Both characteristics are advantage for a solar pump. Due to the imbalance of the eccentric pump rotor, a flexible rubber joint is needed between pump and motor to smoothen the revolutions. Small tolerance between rotor and stator, also called gaps, are responsible for high efficiencies. But these small gaps are negatively correlated with early start ability due to the critical starting torque. The leaf water lubricates the rubber against the steel rotor Warm water is responsible for expansion of the rubber. That is why manufacturers of high quality pumps offer several temper temperature adapted size. Tolerance differ in this case only by millimeters. Dissolved mineral in the water can create an agent effect of the rubber, which will lose its elasticity. Since a solar pump does not work 24 hours, a stronger chemical reaction during the night can occur. Hard particles like sand or waterborne debris can cause tremendous damage to the rubber due to very small tolerance between rotor and stator. Real stones can even damage the metal surface of the rotor. The replacement of rotor and stator is done fast and easy as the pump has only two parts, metal rotor and rubber stator, and the cost is relatively low compared to other pump types. This service can be done by a farmer with technical skills. It is not advisable to reduce the flow rate with a taut phase, for example in bright sunshine, since this pump type delivers a nearly steady flow under different pressure levels which is different to centrifugal pumps. Warning, do not close any valve because Asia pump will create very high pressure which may burst the pipe. A very simple pressure relief valve is common as safety device. Now we come to the surface pumps. Surface pumps can have a vertical and or horizontal shaft. They are self priming a strainer or sieve at the lower end of the suction hose must be used and a check phase is an advantage. The strainer prevents any damage and organic material from entering the pump during standstill. 
Motors for surface pump are in the air and not in water for submersible pump and have a ventilator for cooling purpose. Otherwise, the motors can be AC or DC and at the same applies as was said for submersible pumps. The distance between pumps and solar generator should be short, particularly if low voltage, 12 or 24V DC is used.